We are now at script number four of our end-to-end -end project on flood mapping. We now have a before image and after image. We have passed both of this image to a refinely filter and we have the smooth image, which is now ready to be compared against each other. So let's see how we can extract the difference between those two images. And the difference here is not a subtraction, but the division since the images are uh, in decibels, uh, we should we can divide them. Uh, that's a much better operation than a subtraction. I've seen examples of people doing subtraction as well. That also works, but the division is much more accurate here. So we'll just take our after filter image and divide it by the before filter image, and this results in a, a single band image where each pixel is the difference between the after and before. And then we need to have a threshold. So we need to determine which pixels greater than which values are flood and not. And again, the, this threshold can depend on the, the region and the type of flood event. Uh, you should play around with it. Uh, 1.25 is a decent threshold. So anything that is greater than 1.25 difference, that is a flooded pixel. So we'll just now extract the flooded pixels. So we can say, take the difference image, select all pixels that are greater than our threshold. And that is our flooded image. And I'll just rename it to water. So we can look at it. And now if we add it to the map, and here, this is a zero and one image. Once we apply the greater than function, it will result in an image with the pixel value zero and one, and zero where it didn't match, and one where it matched the condition. So let's visualize it. With, and we can put um, color to be orange. And this would be our initial flood estimate. It's not the final flood pixel. We need to do a lot of refinements to it. And before we do this, uh, we can actually mask out the zero pixels. So we can actually visualize this much more clearly. And there's this function called self mask, which will just take an image and mask it with itself by and remove all the zero values of the pixel. So if we have zero and one values, we want to remove all the pixels which are zero. And in our case, all the non flooded pixels, you can just use the self mask function. And when you run this, you'll see that estimate uh, of flooded pixels, uh, which is difference in the before and after image. And you can see once this uh, image layer loads, you'll see what are those pixels. And you can see all of this area. Uh, all the area in orange is the flooded areas. And this is the where the difference between the after and before image is greater than 1.25. You can play around with this threshold till visually you can um, see the results look okay. All right, so moving on to the next script, we'll now refine this field areas and select out the pixels, which are which we have high confidence that those are really flooded pixels. So moving on and see you in the next video.